Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Well today I'm going to show you how to enjoy, how to get the most out of and how to use the replay mode in its most simplest form. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of complaints about it um, but I've figured out how to use it. It is smooth, it works perfectly fine and uh, you can do what you want to do in it. It's not as simple as the X-Plane one where you just push a key and watch your plane go past or watch your replay. It's not that simple. Um, but it is a good replay mode and now that I've got used to it, it is fine and I actually like it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use it. Uh, you don't need to download any DLC Sky Jolly or Dolly or Wally or whatever it is. Um, the default one works perfectly fine. Okay, like if you start downloading other DLCs to do fancy stuff, I guarantee you will have more problems. <laughs> the less you download, the less DLCs you have, the less problems you have, and the less time you have uh, trying to fix issues all the time. So let's just use the default one, like the pushback mode. The pushback mode and the simulator works perfectly and does perfectly good pushbacks like you've seen in my video. So why do you want to add on more DLCs to make your life more complicated? Okay, let's look at the default replay mode, replay mode because it works absolutely fine. So here we are parked at San Diego at the end of the runway. We're going to jump into the cockpit. We're not doing anything correctly as far as systems or takeoff. All I'm doing is going to record my departure. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. And let's face it, that's all you want to do in a, in a replay mode. There's only two parts of action when it comes to flying. That's the takeoff and the landing. Takeoff is pretty boring unless you stuff it up completely. But the landing, you can always record it or watch your replay so that you can learn something. You can analyze it and you can learn how you can improve next time. That is why I always try and record or do a replay of my landings. Okay, so... Every time you spawn in to this game, unfortunately, you've got to put your replay mode into the menu. So how you do that is you hit escape, go into general options, go down to experimental, and there we go, replay tool. You've got to turn it on. I've turned it on already, but every time you spawn into the game, it's a real pain in the neck. You've got to come into here and turn it on, okay? It is a nuisance. But mine is on now, so you go back and resume. Okay, so once you've done that, you'll see it up here in the menus. Okay, now always turn, don't wait till you actually need to use it before you have to go into the menus. Uh, get that all done before you actually start flying so it's ready to use when you need it. Okay, we are ready to depart, so I'm going to go into my replay mode and I'm going to click on here, sequence recording, okay? And that's it, that's all you need to do. Get rid of it and now you can take off, okay? So let's feed her the fat, take off the parking brake. I'm just showing you the most simplest way to use it to your advantage, okay? And um, this is the way I do it. If you have any extra hints and tips, please put them in the comments below. It would be appreciated. Okay, so we're recording now. We're recording our departure. Right, we're going to take off here, bring up our gear. The replay mode is recording everything I do. I'm going to do a bit of a rock and rolly here on the plane. A bit of a rock and rolly, like we're hitting some turbulence or something. Okay, and that's it. Right, so I'm going to hit pause on my keyboard. I'm going to come up to the replay mode. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to come to a sequence mode and hit stop. Okay. Now I want to watch my replay. I can watch it now or I can watch it later. It's recorded in here. Here is the bar for the timeline. I'm just going to hit play and then I'm going to hit camera track recording. Okay. And that allows me to change my camera view while I'm watching my playback. So here we are. Um, this is where I recorded it from. I like to sit in one place when I'm uh, doing my recording my replay. I don't like to jump around with my views. But when I play it back, then I can change views and have a look around. So I changed my views. Here we go. Let's have a look at our 
replay of our departure a nice gentle lift off there no tail strike up come the wheels up come the wheels and the plane starts rocking around with a little bit of turbulence and there we go that is my replay done and dusted that is a perfectly good absolutely fine replay and I, I enjoy it I really like it now I've got used to it that's as hard and as simple as it gets I don't need to download any more DLCs guys I don't need it at all let's go into our replay mode we've got a slider here we can slide this along back down to here and we can watch it all over again this is perfect it's recorded my camera movements that I did on the first replay and that's what I will see on my second replay if I change the position of my camera when I watch the replay again that's what I will see okay there's my rocking around there and I can analyze my takeoff my departure and if I do this the same sequence when I land I can I can um, I can analyze my landing and I can learn and study how I can improve next time right so where do we go from here we push the pause oh we go into the replay mode okay and we turn off the timeline we stop it get rid of that and you'll see we're back paused where we were before we started to watch our replay so hit your pause button and then go back into your plane with your views and continue your flight that is as hard and as easy as it gets it is simple it is efficient and it works perfectly well guys I don't need any DLCs that is just a beautiful thing not as convenient as X-Plane where you just hit a key um, but you know it has other features you can change the views it'll, re it'll record your different views and angles from where you want to watch your lift your takeoff or your departure or your landing you can zoom into the wheels get close to the wheels and see the wheels touching down so it is a little bit more fancy um, but it's perfectly fine it works good the only thing that is annoying the only thing to me that is annoying is that every time you want to use it it's not here you have to go into the menus and uh, enable the function and my in my book it should be up here all the time permanently uh, but it's not anyway that's it guys a short little video I hope it's helpful but I would encourage you to use your replay mode it is brilliant it works fine in its most simplest form and it can certainly help you improve on your landing skills okay by analyzing uh, your landings take care I copied farewell guys keep safe happy flying over and down